there is a, a welcome back to West of Loathing. So I took a bit of a break because I was tired, but I think there's just a lot more to discuss and kind of go over about this game, and it's really interesting. I hated fishing rod to cook the trash on the inside. Hot rod. The trash is left medium rare, but a connoisseur would eat it well done. <laughs> I feel like there's more of an overarching plot to this one, and I'm excited for that because I feel like there's a lot of potential there for that as well. Oh, hey, there's something shiny in this pile of trash. It's a ring. Neat. A snake tooth ring. When you apply poison, you apply three extra. Ooh. This hobo is trying to wrestle the stove out of a pile of trash. Howdy, I'm Beanie. Hi, BD. I'm such fun. What are you up to? I'm trying to get this stove so as I can hold it back to a hobo camp out of sight of Hoshin City. What do you know about the camp? Yep, I'll be cupping up a mess of beans once I get the stove back there, let me tell you. Asking about hobo code. Do you know how any hobo code you can teach me? Sure, heck, I know about a dozen different symbols for beans. Wouldn't that one be enough? They all look pretty similar now that you mention it. Neat. Do I have anything that could help me get muscle? Weird. Okay. You're currently really in, in the Kiss Fedora. Add the tentacles. Yes, I want to curse it even. You had the band making a head. You had a little eerie. Ah, nice. I'll give Tertholomew this back. Yeah. Tertholomew, the trill gains one muscle, one mystically, one maxi, one three, maximum HP. Nice. Okay, so I can't do anything about that right now. I'll come back to you, though. Go into the trash. This opening leads to an underground la labyrinth of filth. For unfortunately, your graduate counter is taking faintness, so you're probably going to have to go in there. I hope you aren't wearing your favorite anything. That's not that bad. It turns out that this garbage dump is much deeper and older than it initially appeared. Huge rooms and tunnels have been carved out of the trash like the worst archaeological digs imaginable. And just to make a bad scene even worse, it looks like the whole gang of this horrible little fairies have made a home in here. Ugh. Great. There are a lot of fairies in that direction, frolicking around and making animal noises. Dying animal noises. Fun! There's also a shovel here. This is, uh, there is an ironically half fairy shovel here. Nice. There's a lot of fairy. Okay, I'm gonna fight these guys first, actually. <laughs> what the hell is that? Hey, hey now. There's no need for that. Mushling. Love that. Fairy gun mother. <laughs> Fairy Gunmother intends to shoot through random opponents for first physical damage each. Good to know. Fairy Explorer. Fairy Explorer intends to explode, dealing four hot damage to your entire party. Great! Oh, wow. So it targets everyone. Jesus Christ. That fairy's got a gun. Oh, no. Oh, the spider's down, too. Oh, shit. Oh, this is really bad, actually. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's not good. Okay. You lost specifically lost your ability to explore any further in that direction. You had a few mims for your wounds to scab over. Your wounds have shielded into stronger skin. Disgusting, clotted, discolored skin. Okay. Okay. So I am clearly not strong enough to deal with that. The old junkyard, fairy burrow. Ringing this bell would certainly stir up some angry fairies. I'm not going to do that then. It seems like there's a couple things I need to grab then. I don't want to go to the fairy lair. A squirrel shatters angrily at you from a nearby hollow tree, presumably trying to scare you away from its stash? A real tactical mistake on its part says then you know where its stash is. It scampers away as you peer into the hole. You find not just the expected knights, but also several wallets. Oh, has this squirrel been mugging hikers? Maybe you should get out of here before it comes back with a knife? <laughs> Good idea. You see a familiar looking person heading towards you on the path. As they get near you, you realize that the reason he looks so familiar is he looks because he looks exactly like you. I'll say hi. Oh, hi. Uh, are you a clone or a time paradox or what? Turns out it's a time paradox, I guess. Wow, crazy. I agree. High five. The two of you literally speaking exchange a friendly high five. <laughs> I'll kiss him goodbye. Lean for a kiss goodbye. No tongue now. Hi, uh, yeah, that we wouldn't want to make this weird or anything. Spooch, wink it. Now you get to, forward, go, get to look forward to a second one. Okay, g good to know. <laughs> The proprietor of this empty store has nothing to proprietor here. What do you sell here? What do you think? Crystals. You'd sure think so, wouldn't you? Huh? Sh you'd sure think a crystal store next to a crystal mine would sell crystals, wouldn't you? I mean, I would, yes. Let me tell you a little story about a young woman whose name is me. Oh, I love little stories. My parents wanted me to go straight into college, so that's what I did. College girls, they only think about one thing. Getting a degree so they can work in a mine. I'm not like regular girls, guy. I want to sell the things that come out of a mine. Sure, gases and such. So I dropped out and moved across 13 states to the best crystal mine in the country. When I arrived, the mine was out of business. Now so am I, before I get even, even got started. Want me to check out that mine? 
Yeah, and break me off a couple of crystals, were you were thinking? Uh, I'm not asking you to clear out the whole mine, man, but with just a few crystals, I can afford to send my so whole sorority down there. I'll see what I can do. Wow, okay. Oh, hi, random orb. It's a weird shadow pocket or pouch or something. Reach inside. You stick your hand into the hole, grab the first thing your fingers brush against, and then yank it back out. A shadow hot dog. Good to know. So where is this mine? Ah, oh, mine. I see, of course. You see a building through a gap in the trees and pause to investigate. There's a large sign painted on the side of the building that says Quality Spirits, so presumably it's either a distillery or a ghost farm. Whatever it used to be, it's a boarded up wreck now. I really hope it's the latter. That would be very fun. I do love me some spooky stuff. Gumbuckle Mine Foreman's Office. This door is comprehensively boarded shut, bright open with crowbar. Your crowbar makes short work of the long boards. Reach inside. A shadow pickle. Let's see what this says. Nothing this soaked in brine and vinegar for an eternity. Good to know. Nice music, too. This little radio is playing some big band music. This cabinet is securely locked. Well, uh, there's nothing on this desk except a very old pink slump. The reason for termination is listed as shrinking of elevator maintenance duties. This filing cabinet is newer than the rest of the furniture, but it's still pretty wrecked. Flip file... There's just some shoes that probably made sense to somebody at some point. Flip file, flip flops. Office equipment or footwear? Can it be both? Makes your steps more organized. I, I kind of want to see what this does. Oh. I love the music as well. Oh my god. I love the accordion as well. I gotta go back with the, uh, the crab walk one. Extra high hills, what does this do? Makes your steps higher. Oh my god. I love this game. It's just delightful. Let's go through this spooky door. This version of the cabinet is unlocked. Look inside. Unfortunately, this version of the cabinet is empty. Great! Empty birdcage. They must have run out of canaries. A desk with nothing on or in or under or behind it. A huge disappointment, really. It's a 1906 calendar. So if I try to go through... Hang on. Just, I, I'm i getting ahead of myself here. This other... Yeah, okay. Fair enough. So that elevator that leads down to the main shaft. Book of mine, main shaft in the past. This part beam is lousy with termites. No way are you wandering off into that temporal abyss. Ah, oh, come on now. This table is bare except for a note reading I owe you one helmet. This cabinet is labeled dynamite storage and it is extremely locked. Good to know, I'm glad. Very large, ugly spherical rock, and now has a hole it has a hole drilled in it. Shine your flashlight in the hole. Your flashlight revealed sparkly colored crystals inside. It's geode. Neat. What am I supposed to do with that? Can I put a gun in there? <laughs> That'd be very stupid if I could. Darn, okay. I gotta play this like a normal RPG. It's kinda weird because I like don't really think of it that way. So there's jack Oh, there's jacket hanging on the coat rack, which I guess makes it technically like a jacket track. Gumbuckle mining cabinet key. Good to know. Cool. Now we go back. Wait, no, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't realize the vignetted colors of the thing were the past and not the actual game. Whatever, I'm, I'm stupid is what I'm saying. Can I... Oh, it's the one to the... Oh. So I am stupid. Legitimately. Good to know. Quick, open the cabinet. The cabinet is empty except for one can of elevator grease. Ele can of elevator grease, okay. Wait, did that read the pink slip? Oh, yeah, I did. It's far too gone for Grace to help at this point. You rarely hope somebody got fired for doing such a terrible job of taking care of this elevator. What am I supposed to do about that? Wait. Isn't for shr shirking of elevator maintenance students, of course. Oh, 
Okay. Let's go right there, the gel up there, and come out. This thing will run like a charm for at least 22 years. Oh! That must be what caused the time travel paradox as well. It made kissing myself. This outfit has been miraculously well maintained. Nice work. Wait, so if I look at the desk again, is it going to be different? There's nothing on this desk except an old employee of the month award certificate. You're the only one who's ever even you've been in here so this month, so you definitely deserve this. This award is made out to Hud Herbert Gutchins, for all, oh, but for all anybody knows, that could be your name. Flash it to increase your maximum and current HP by your mysticality. Oh! Neat! That's very fun. So I'm guessing that they blew up the geode in the past. It's been cracking the wall here. Massive cave in so they're supposed to be technically a mine in. Uh, so if I equip the shovel, I know it's not going to help me for, for digging. Maybe? Who knows? Did I even equip it? I did not. I can't equip it, never mind. So I need to get a pickaxe at some point then. Cool. Hardware store, maybe? You wander off of, off of the main path and stroll along among the, the trees for a bit. It's nice to get out in nature for a bit, at least until you walk into an invisible spider web and it gets a little tangled in your hair. While flowing around disgusted, you're trying to get it off of you, you stumble into a second red sw spider web, which goes right across your face. Ah. Uh, that's how staggering blindly you get yourself tangled up in a third spider web. This one's much longer and larger and stronger, and made to trap prey of more of more or less your size. The, the extremely large spider sitting in the corner of the web looks delighted to see you, and in as much as, sp as a spider can smile, this one has smiled. This one's smile has poison dripping up from it. I'll break free and escape. With the yellow power and or terror, you yank yourself free of the webs and run away, leaving behind annoyed and a disappointed spider. Woof! That was a close one. So if I go back to... Perhaps go to Ocean City, because there was a hardware store here. Which I believe means that I can get the... A pickaxe here. Hi, I'm Sutsvin. Is this your store? That's right, I'm Bellamy Jardware, and welcome to Jardware's Hardware. Just wondering, did you open a hardware store just because of the rhyme? Yep, that was pretty much the entire reason. Glad to know. Anarchist Hardware. Open hat lining. I'll buy that, sure, why not? Orchestral Strike. Deals 5 physical damage. You studied the ways in which the army uses controversial music to demoralize and injure enemy soldiers. It's kind of funny what kind of this controversial music than this when it was written. Orchestra Strike. Sometimes you need to punctuate your violence with even more intense violence. <laughs> There's an apparent appendix full of charts and frequencies and which bones they'll shatter if you play them loudly enough. You can memorize it if you took the time. Interesting. They have a lot to this game. Wow. So I'm going to put the comfy hat lining on... Yes, Eldritch Crit and Crit Fedora. You added the lining, dramatically increasing the comfort of your hat. Yes. Sweet. Comfy Aldrich's chef set and comfy Aldrich's hat. Curse Fedora. I got a new skill as well. Orchestra Strike. How much XP do I have? You have 34. Okay, good to know. I'm learning here. A blunt flapper cracks a chewing gum, but gives you a shrieking grin and a little wave. Hey there, big boy. You're such an Alexander, right? That's me. Pleased to meet you. I'm Molly. Molly Buttons, they call me. Charmed. How do you? So how do you know my name? The boss sent me to lend you a hand and to keep an eye on you, Sappy. What? Hey, now I put in my two weeks' notice before I left Poughkeepsie Fair and Square. Huh? No, not that boss, Yapaluka. The boss. The boss. You know, she glances over the mob boss. Oh, that the boss. I understand now. She see. I can't tell if you got a screw list or if you're just funnin' with me. I like to keep people guessing. So what, you're supposed to partner up with me? That's the deal, McNeil. And do what? What's a twenty something like girl like you doing working for the mob anyway? Hey now, I ain't just a pretty face. She's pulls a Tommy gun with a full size drum magazine from behind her back, gives it a flip in the air, and catches it with a mad glitter in eyes. Holy jeez! I thought the way for for someone he sees it. Gee. <laughs> Crabs, what do you have to w you have to whisper to the boss, but you're fine with waving a machine gun around in public? So are we teaming up or what? <laughs> sure, why not? Welcome to the party. Molly has joined you as companion. Peachy, you should want I should come with you right now or cool with my heels at such and such them for a while. 
Uh, come wait for me there. So, all oh right, but don't forget it's rude to keep a girl waiting. Get to know. Is there anything that I'm missing here? Uh, huh. Is there anything here? I know I'm just wandering around, but... If there's any pickaxe at all that I can find, then that would be helpful. No it's in the back. In the, um, what's it called? The bank. The, yeah. I'm not going back to Gideon's God, no. Okay, so this was useless Dever. I go back to here. <sighs> I was gonna go to the distillery, right. I will, might as well go there. Oh, look at this. What's up, Gabby? She points at the large patch, per, patch of pur large purple mushrooms growing out of the rowing lawn. Look at these mushrooms, so fat and healthy. Oh yeah, yeah, I guess they do look... Oh, huh. Are you actually going to eat all of this? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hope oh, Gabby is taking their secrets. Gabby's maximum HP increases by five. Well, okay then. It's good to know. Now I have to fight you. There's a bun there are a bunch of vampires hanging out in here, and it sh probably shouldn't be surprised that they notice you. Surprise, sorry. That's him, the dark god says, pointing at you. That's him right there. Let's see what the fuss is all about. Turn it there, let me go stronger. A skull king. Okay, so I need to change back my weapons to something better. Uh... So, I get that. Ooh! Sharpening. Oh, I'm gonna use that on the salty fishing run, actually. No, let's look at that now. Yes. You sharpen your salty fishing fish run to a razor's edge. So, that deals muscle plus four physical damage. That is actually very good. This fat intentionally left empty. There's a label on this vat that reads, It grants was to extra fancy garlic schnapps. Uh, well, maybe as it wasn't prohibition that put this place out of business. <laughs> Unfriendly vat, do not use. Oh, interesting. A bunch of vampires. Excellent. Okay, so. What did I just do? Ooh, stony heart. Plus three physical armor. Yeah, sure, why not? Covered with scabs. Plus three, man. Why can I not? Yeah, but still. A strong... Yeah, nice. Credit run. Let's bring on the vanity. Oh, cool. Ooh. Baconstone pendant. A glistening, glistening gem from the old world. Legend says these are made of the tears of a long dead species of elf, but legend isn't really clear on why they smell like that. Weird. Vampire boots. Make you float like a spooky vampire. Cool. Nice. Oh, so I still have the sleaze armor, so that is good. I can go back to the the junkyard and do all this stuff, and I also have the muscle as well. You notice particularly the cobweb strewn corpse of trees, and you, as you get near it, you catch a glimpse of a big hole full of spiders in the middle of it. You can just barely read the old wooden sign next to it, declaring it to the world that the hole is belongs to Beppo. I'm gonna pretend I didn't find it, because that sounds horrible. Wait, so I have the muscle, I believe. Oh my god, I still can't do this. Yeah, okay, we're good. How about the stove at? With a sort of grunting and heaving, you who managed to gank the stove free. Whoa, thanks a million, Pat. Now I just gotta drag this back to camp and I'll be in bees knees. Haha, <laughs> see you around, Beanie. There we go. 
You grab a nasty old spoon from the pile and use it to dig through the glue. You don't find anything, you just keep the spoon. I don't know why you would keep that spoon, but you did. Why not? Deals a mysticality, but th plus three sleeves damage. Good to know. I have the cologne, didn't I? I think. So... I'm gonna go back to Ocean City. And I'm gonna go to the... The speakeasy. My speak- that's been such den. Which actually is great, honestly. Hey there, baby, what's chicken? You are, Dan. Yes, I am. Here's a cup of the profits, baby. Found this case of rum. A little bit of island nectar, eh? I found this case of gin. I'll just gin up some business for sure. Order a drink. Ooh. Beer plus five by six B. Bottoms up. Beer buzz. You fortified yourself with a pint of beer. Interesting. Wait, so that's that's permanent then, or is that only temporary? Beer buzz. Oh. Interesting. Good to know. So I have Red Skipper from Goldsmith Park and the jokes and jazz signals from Mr. Bruce's are chatting about, chatting about something. So then when they bend over the wire fund to take a drink, boom, he just spritz of pressurized water right in the face. But here's the clever part. See, it only happens once every time, 20 or 30 times the button is pushed, so nobody even expects it, if it even if it's happened to them before. See, that is pretty funny. Wait, wait, let me check these diagrams for what they call a whoopee park bench. You'll love this. It's always a good feeling to see two people sitting off so well. That's cool. Molly is dancing with a surprising figure. Hi, Molly. Having fun? And wow, this place is the racer's wristwatch. Don't take any wooden meat sticks. Ooh, that's actually helpful that it's hobo code knowledge. I cannot. How much hobo code knowledge do I have? Hobo literacy, level four student of the hobo alphabet. Okay. <laughs> Wait, that's not the right thing. I think there's five. No, it's six Moxie. Okay, leave the door alone. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go over there now. Take a wrong turn into an ingrant or coffee. Yeah, okay. It's been Benny from the Chunker. Happily can't have a pound of beans. Hey, well, hi there. Good to see ya again. That's him about Kobogo. Sure thing, this one here is, means arpeggio. These two pointy things are crescendo and decrescendo. This here's a travel club. Thanks. Oh, nice. So I, like. Well, it's lucky they have to find a camp. Nice. Okay, so I can go back to Blanket Street. That's not what I meant to do. Yeah, the Frosty Flakes. Good to know. Long before you actually turn the corner, you two hear Glockens from the reply. Give a music lesson. <laughs> Look, friends, you're going all about the wrong. Don't you know how anything about modern music? But it's important that you notice you that you don't play. What if I mean you, the notes play V not? I can see you have a lot to learn. You better start by practicing not playing any notes at all. Then once you get good at that, you can focus on learning specific notes, which specific notes not to play. Mm, I see that modern music is tricky businesses. The goblins stare at their black and spears, carefully not playing them. As you leave, you hear one accident to a playing fault. Followed by urgent shushing and apologies. Oof. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, I'm going to the, um... The speakeasy, yeah. This corner here. The code says grapes in there here. You probe the, you quickly probe in the town. Sure enough, there are grapes. Floor grapes. Agent Button, take them to Fancy Dan. Good to know. I didn't read it. Went back at you, baby. What's new? I found some floor grapes. Floor grapes, eh? Well, when life gives you floor grapes, you make floor wine, baby. Sounds like a plan. Plus one physical armor. Interesting. Okay. So, let's go back to... What's in the what was Hiram's? Oh, fight them. Trio of hooded figures and wooded... Sorry, I didn't hear it. Start it again. 
A trio of figures in hooded white robes step out of the trees around you. It's hard to tell if the robes contain person-shaped shadow monsters or if they're regular people whose faces are concealed by the shadows of their hoods. Well, not that regular people going around wearing hooded robes very often anyway. Whichever it is, it doesn't seem like they have good intentions. Hey, uh, what's your deal? Well, that clears that right up. Okay. Get the chance to question them any further. Not that it probably would have been any more effective than the first time. I see a familiar looking person heading towards- Oh, yeah, it's, it's myself, again. The two of you- Well, I guess just, just the first one again. You listen for a kiss goodbye. No tongue now, huh? The other one wouldn't make this weird or anything. You should, you, you should have assessed you. Now you get, you get to for, look forward to a second one. Okay, <laughs> the time paradox continues. Good to know. On the side of Crystal Lake Dream- Crystal Dream Lake's- Yeah, okay. Impenetrable sh shellac. Right. Mushroom cave. Check out the cave now. Let's see why not. I have Beppo's hole. I need to go fight the spiders as well, which I don't really want to do right the second, but we'll see. That's a lot of mushrooms. Hi, hey, hello. What are you reading that little notebook, Gabby? Tentacles. Look, Gabby holds the notebook up. She's marked the page with. I heard the little, uh, little accents and an arrow is pointing this way and that. Gabby's been keeping tracks on which moves were best for a fight. Jeez, you're getting good at this stuff. You should be the one giving fight orders. Haha, <laughs> next, that's your job. Gabby is focused on Gabby fighting fight stuff and then concerned with the bigger photograph. <laughs> Love that. There's uh, this huge writhing mess of fungus. Must be the reason why they call this bush place Mushroom Mountain. I might have enough XP for another. Oh, yes, I do. I'll definitely get the sharp eyes. Plus 30 for 30% item drops, nice. So, I might go to, I'm gonna try the junkyard one more time. If I don't get sidetracked, such an look what Gabby has found. Oh yeah, nice. So what damage did they do? I think they did physical damage. So I think having physical armor would be good. Is this a ranged weapon? Ranged weapon, oh. Excellent, hang on. Potions. Where was the um, accessories? I just saw it. God damn it. Yeah, I'll eat it. Why not? Pickled. Nice. Damage of ranged weapon attacks by five. That's actually really, really good. So, what else can I do? What's the plus four physical damage? So. So, okay. I'm gonna have muscle at five. Okay, good. I like how this short shirt, like, they don't actually do anything. Each run of combat increases your muscle. Oh! I might go with the star. I might need to level up the Starling then at some point, though. I do like the Incursed Pocket Watch as well. Oh! Oh, right! I forgot about the muscle, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Okay, I think I'm good to go in this fight, then. One with those furries out of the way, you can get to the northern tunnel. Is that north or leftern tunnel? Fairy skull one, fairy dust, and squirrel cheese. Interesting. Wait, what is squirrel cheese? The furries keep squirrels the way that we used to keep cows. Only 
one can only hope that someday they will face a film of reckoning. <laughs> Excuse oh, oh, that's really funny. I forgot about the cows coming home. Yeah. Okay, so. So fuck fairies that yeah okay. So I gotta take care of these guys one by one, I think. Of course, this guy is gonna be the most difficult, so I'm gonna take care of him first. I thought from a big statue. That's how far you know you you are away from this and what it is. It looks seems pretty depressed. Listen to the statue. It sounded for the past time. You managed to make it feel a little better by reminding it that's it's still a really big, really strong fight. It gives you some toe gem as a small less gesture of thanks. Powerful grid. Interesting. A tearing stack of crates is holding a part of the ceiling here. Kick it. Okay. This trash has collapsed into an unsafe staircase like you. That was extremely lucky. Okay. Why not? Let's go up. Climb up. This is the same spot as beforehand? I think it is. Yeah. Oh, another tunnel. Oh, interesting. Get another tunnel. Tunnel fort. Oh! Yeah, this place is a fucking maze here. Okay. This room is positively swarming with fairies. They must be pretty good over there. At least something that fairies think is pretty good, which might, is an opinion you might or might not share. Wait, 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 wait. There's a lie. There's a void here. Shadow Rift, step through. So weird. What can I do about that? Oh! Wait, hang on. How can I punch? Oh, punch. Interesting. Throbbing ring of negative energy when a smaller, less throbbing ring of negative energy. Risk the ring of shadow energy flows with your magic pliers. You really need to go to tool school. Get to now. Interesting. This junk behind? Yes. Someone has thrown a perfectly good giant double to pick. 240 meat? Wow. Oh, no, and there was this thing as well, which looks very stinky. Oh, an inviting tub of piping hot water. Piping hot and clean water. Your brain is insisting that this is impossible, and the rest of your body is yelling at it to shut up. Take your clothes beyond the privacy of this narrative. She locks and slides into the tub. Your ex pains and various worries drift away in the luxury stream. Splish. It's supposed to run for a while. It's very relaxing. You turn. Hot bath. Ooh. Nice. That's very nice. I'll fish in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Wet fez. Oh, my toilet's using. Interesting. Okay, good to know. Wait, this is actually really good. Because then I have, I think, enough. I have enough stats to get up to the to the thing. I'm gonna wait until I get enough XP to actually do something about that. Then. Holy dang! Someone threw a, a perfectly good cow skull. These things are rare as heck. I can see that there haven't been any cows in this country for more than 30 years. I think cow skull. It's always hard to tell whether one of these parts is a part of a cow, normal cow somebody killed or first word or the entirety of a horrible floating cow skull that somebody killed in self-defense. Describe because it really is going nuts. This must be the spot. Just beneath the surface, your shovel strikes the top of a crate. The gadget kind of continues its irritating cookery. You give the old top of the, the old crate a mighty stamp and end up ankle deep in compasses. It's better than being ass deep in comp ankles, which that's what you always oh, say, haha. -ha. Anyways, enough of jokes. You grab the least ruined looking compass. Now back to the lighthouse. So there was more here, I think. 
No, I'm just stupid. Okay, never mind. Okay, success. Good stuff. Off the side of the dirt road you're walking down, you see a pile of greasy rocks. A voice in your head tells them to squeeze them. The voice is the voice of your history of rocks professor who taught you this greasy rock squeezing technique. Assorted grease. Hello. Hi, hello, get what's up, Gabby? Gabby has the things for you to go and check up on. Is this related to the secret thing from before? Haha, <laughs> maybe. Maybe the same secret, maybe a different one. Gabby is a mystery. Sure, why not? Oh my god, there are so many of them. Look at all the Gabbies. New Gabby growing up big and strong beautiful. Hi, hello, my name is Gabby. <laughs> hello. Look at all these Gabbies. Hello. He's going to learn to dance and fight. Yes, Gabby's doing the best. Gabby's muscle increases by one. He's probably going to tell me to turn back to where it's at twin weights. Gabby returns. Hi, Ga Hi, Gabby. How was your second thing? So good. What a good secret. So when do I get to know what all this about? Huh, someday. Maybe someday soon. Get to know. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. Lighthouse Keeper. Hi Hello again. You found that old compass you were looking for? I sure did. Oh, did here, what do you think? Hmm, could use the polish, but it seems to be in condition. Alright, I'll swap you. Let me give that old guy your counter back for me, too. Chris Compass. I, yep, no problem. Get along now. I got a little important, important nothing to take care of. Nice. Okay. Alright, that's it for me for today. This game is very fun. I'm enjoying it a lot and getting into actually, like, experience, like, kind of be more realistic about the things I want to do with this game, which I think that didn't happen with West of Loathing for whatever reason, so there's that. It's a much, it's also very much improved from West of Loathing because I got so sidetracked so quickly. I didn't know, I couldn't manage things very well, so it's like this is much needed improvement. So yeah.